afternoon, good evening. I am your host, Data T, and this is my channel, The Good Guys. Guys, today's story comes out of Phoenix. This is Arizona, and the title reads, PD Intruder Shot Killed by Phoenix Homeowner Overnight. Now, guys, I'm pretty sure this I know what's going to happen here, another home invasion, but it's good that we keep covering them, okay? So l before we get into it, give you if you guys don't mind, if you could leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Remember, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers, and the only way that we can get there is with your guys, with your help. And feel free hit me on Minds on Twitter. Whatever platform you guys have, I always leave descriptions in the, uh, uh, or details in the descriptions. Uh, but you guys know how to get with me, get in contact, and uh, let us dive in to this story. What you need to do if you knew there was an intruder inside your home. That was a reality for a Phoenix man overnight, and police say he shot and killed that person inside his home. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke is in that neighborhood near 19th Avenue south of Camelback, and he's hearing from an attorney on the law surrounding a dangerous encounter like this one. Somebody's stolen another car over there. Sandra says she wasn't surprised to hear what happened not far outside her son's home at 17th Avenue and Coolidge Street in Phoenix late Thursday night. This is the problem. Before 11 p.m. Thursday, police came to a home where an intruder was able to get inside. We don't have many details, but police say the man who lives here shot the man who barged in, and that man later died at the hospital. As of now, no arrests have been made, but the investigation continues. Sandra says she's seen red flags in this neighborhood before. Somebody stolen the car, broken everything. So right here is not enough. We did have a brief conversation with the homeowner. They did not want to have any conversation with us. They had no comment whatsoever. It's, it's that responsible gun ownership. But we did get a chance to hear from Craig Rosenstein. Um, the decision. Before we hear what this lawyer has to say, and I think it's important because he actually represents an organization that comes in after you have your self-defense shooting, uh, it's going to be important to hear what he has to say. But let me also address the actual shooting itself. Number one, guys, anybody that comes into your home, you have the ability to use your firearm to defend your house, whoever is in your house, your friends, your family, your property. OK, so what has happened is that he has been able to shoot and kill this man. We do not advocate for death. OK, we want the threat stopped. And I absolutely, though, congratulate this man and the ability to defend yourself. It's a fantastic thing and it should be celebrated, folks. OK, I'm glad that this news outfit has put it on. OK, um, Arizona is pretty good about doing this because, number one, they are a constitutional carry state. OK, um, and there's a thing called Castle Doctrine, I believe, that's also in their state. But I believe the lawyer is going to uh, explain this and then we're going to talk about what he has said. OK, stand by. to shoot it like shoot at somebody is the decision to take somebody's life he's a criminal defense attorney who works with the u.s law shield a self-defense education group he also authored a book on arizona gun law his first reaction to the early part of this investigation is what's called the castle doctrine is that you never have to flee your home in order to avoid any kind of physical alteration um in arizona you, you don't have to do that on the street as well so if somebody's attacking you you're not obligated to first try to run away before using force. He added this. In Arizona, we have constitutional carry, meaning if you're a legal gun owner, you can carry openly outside your home. He says any good gun owner should take the four-hour concealed carry course. Having that knowledge about when you can and cannot shoot is uh, invaluable. Jordan Bond. So I do, th I, am, I am in favor of this. I am in favor of people getting trained. 100%. I'm in favor of training. I've never said I don't want people to get trained, but I do not want it mandated. Okay. Um, 
guys, I I have noticed um, people who have firearms, especially brand new people. Um, there are cases where these brand new people, people that have firearms, they do things on their own. People can learn how to shoot on their own. People can read the laws on their own. They don't need a class. Okay. Now, what I hope, I would hope that, you know, there's no way to even make sure that these people do train with their firearm. There's no way to know that these people do go and look up the law. But some people do. Okay. And I don't believe a right mandates that you must take a class. Okay. We have the right to freedom of speech. We don't take a class on learning how to speak. We don't do that. We don't. Okay. And it's not mandated either. So I don't believe in mandating training to people to have guns. I don't agree with that. Okay. But I don't mind training. And I think training is a fantastic tool. Uh, it allows you to be ready. Okay. It allows you to put yourself to simulate a particular, uh, particular case, even if it even if it means it's just in your head. This is why I watch so many self-defense videos. This is why I watch, uh, you know, not only, there's always other channels that I watch, okay? And um, it's important, guys, okay? And this individual has talked about a number of things, the law, Castle Doctrine. Um, he's written a book about it, and it's a good thing, guys, that um, he has done this um i have always long believed if somebody comes into your home it's over it's just over for that individual you cannot expect i i in my opinion i don't expect for them to get out alive i really don't Especially if you got the sights or the dot or a scope on that individual. There's no way he can get free. No way he can go free. But again, we are not here to celebrate death. We don't do that. But I absolutely will celebrate the homeowner for defending himself, defending his home and his family. Kudos to him. I will say he is a good guy. Thank goodness for what he has done and i know usually people don't want to talk about it and that's your right and to be honest i think it's a good thing so these jokers from the da office don't come out come after you but uh guys what do you guys think i say these at, i say these things at the end of my videos and i always mean it good guys have guns good guys should always have guns good guys should buy multiple guns good guys should be armed to the teeth because if good people do nothing guys there will be no good guys mm -hmm.